Hello everyone and welcome to episode 39 of my Better Than Wolves playthrough. Today we see the introduction, as you might have seen in the lower left corner, of a new version that came out yesterday. So thought I'd do a quick run through while things in the base are processing. Um, oh, actually, I finished processing all that crushed netherrack and uh, turned it into hellfire dust. Uh, right now it's grinding up some coal so I can make more torches. Either way quick run through of the update. Uh, it added a new pistol shovel block crafted from six iron ingots in a stair shape. Uh, he's not going to tell us what it does. Uh, added new ladder blocks which are flammable and can be dislodged by water or falling blocks so we can't use it to block off water anymore. It does not affect, affect already placed ladder blocks. Added alternate loose cobblestone and brick stair recipes involving loose blocks of the corresponding variety rather than brick and stone items. Added the ability to rotate a few additional blocks on the turntable, like powered rails, detector rails, shafts, jack-o'-lanterns, and stakes, as part of the refactoring work described below. Added the ability to silk harvest various slabs. Added conversion recipe from bookshelves back to books. Changed chisels to not be efficient at harvesting stone once it has reached a certain damage level. Uh, basically, once you've pried all the stone loose, the texture changes to its final level, and then at that point, it is not efficient anymore. Uh, he says this is to make early game tunneling less effective given recent increases to chisel efficiency. He changed or refactored the way block facing works internally for many blocks and how the turntable rotates them to help support making additional block types turn. He changed cactus to not be destroyed when hit by webs. Changed bone and flesh blocks to drop individual items when cut in front of the saw. Changed campfires to be crushed by falling blocks. Fixed a problem where snow cover wasn't melting as intended near fires. And fixed a problem with falling sand slabs looking like gravel. And that brings us up to date. And I've talked through the daytime. But that's okay. So, today's plan. I have been, I believe, mentioning redoing the base into something that's actually a base and doing some sort of time lapse for that. I am still thinking of doing that. The question is where said base will be built and what sort of designs it's going to have. I I am torn between having an open almost villagey like look where each building has its own purpose, and then you just have paths in between the buildings. And the alternative being one big castle-like base that has rooms. I have sort of done the latter in a lot of my previous games. Uh, more often than not, I end up focusing on function and then never get it and say to myself, oh, I'll make it look pretty later, or I'll redo this so it looks pretty later, and then I never end up doing that. So, for this playthrough, I, I do want to make... I want to I wanna try to have some focus on form, which is a little more... I don't want to say difficult for me, but it's not something that I always do, and so it's not something I know offhand. I'm a lot better at, say, just looking at someone else's build than I am coming up with my own. Like the first time that I made something in Minecraft that was my own creation, it was it was just basically a sand castle that was in a square shape and wasn't I mean I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it wasn't the coolest looking. I don't know. But the basic plans will be to level all of this level these buildings so that this entire area can be gardening and make the best use of the water. And then I was contemplating having the actual building above it, but the only support blocks I can make now either require a poop ton of clay or it's wood, and that would be flammable if I want to have the garden areas have any sort of light. So that's not an option, I don't think. So then my next thought is I build over on that semi-flat area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go browse online a little bit for some inspiration and I will be back with some sort of game plan. See you then. 
and I'm back. So while I was looking at different house designs and castle designs and whatnot, I came to two realizations. One, my cobblestone acquisition method is actually quite slow. I do have that little makeshift cobblestone generator up at the bottom of my base. But it's um <clears throat> it, it it is painfully slow. It it you know, it's per button press I get a single cobble and then from there it it takes a lot of time. That was realization number one. So that means that my base material cobble, which I think would be featured in quite a few builds, is slow and painful to get copies of. Realization number two, my light source torches, I also don't have a whole lot of. Uh, I use the rest of my coal to make these 31 torches. So that tells me that I should probably go mining for coal and iron and all sorts of other materials to boost up my basic supply. So we're down I'm I'm down here in the mines hoping to find lots of those materials in a relatively short order. The third realization I know I said I had two, but I, I just had another one while I was talking, is that <clears throat> one of the more basic building materials for a new house is going to be wood. And with all of the shenanigans changes, mostly in Burn Baby Burn and other recent updates, building out of wood seems really, well, not dangerous, but potentially catastrophic say a lightning strike hits the house and it all goes up in flame and that and something like that was witnessed in my little dog pen which was what two three blocks away from an open source with several blocks in between and the whole thing just lit up like nothing so what I'm thinking is I might delay any sort of super fancy build until I have technology to protect from lightning strikes. Namely, the whole uh, uh, lightning rods or whatever they are that you make with steel. So then that leaves me with a couple options. One, I just do some sort of dig into the ground style build like I have done in the past. Or, well, I'd have to, the other option would be to build entirely out of stone, which is going to be a super painstaking process that will also require a lot of clay to make floors and ceilings and whatnot. So I think I'm a little bit less of a fan of that. But the general gist being, I won't be making a fancy house quite yet. <clears throat> and that's mostly due to, due to tech limitations, sort of. But I also don't quite have a design in mind yet. And so that becomes a wee bit of a problem. So then, that makes our next goal... What does that make up my next overall goal? I guess improving mob farms and whatnot still. Since I'm in renewable tech, I guess one inherent goal would become the improvement of that village that I found way back when I could cure those zombies. Ouch. This is becoming a bit dangerous. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, 
dip out of here a hot second so we can eat some food. No. Nope. Heal up a little bit. His armor isn't quite as good as it should be. This is certainly a bit more difficult. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. And we're back, just in time for a creeper to come at us. Not today, punk. So these are some seriously uh, dangerous mines. Enemies heading us off from all sorts of directions. <coughs> Luckily, I have permanent light sources, so once any sort of work is done to light it up, it should pretty much stay that way. It does make mining a little inefficient, though. Mostly because I have to light up lots of places and it's not not getting a whole lot of bang for my proverbial torch buck. Is this just one block? Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Alternatively, I could start doing some branch mining. That in a way might be better. Or, I could go check out the mine shaft since that would be a little bit more consistent oh, oh Jesus well this is interesting oh god okay run 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 he is decked out good grief Okay, I'm not going to win that war, so I'm just going to keep running. Maybe he will follow me all the way. Zombie shovel. Okay, he stopped falling. Oh, Jesus, he came from below. What the heck? That was nuts. Okay, so he's... Oh, got him. So how much are we getting there? Holy sh... poopy. That's awesome. The iron's pretty... The iron legs I could wear for a while. These I can just melt down. Make some armor. Okay. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna head back up quick. Drop some of those things off. And... Oh, I should go check how much of that iron I got from the uh, from melting all of that other stuff down. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have a bit of a phlegm buildup in my throat today. Oh yes, and I melted some glass. So 23 iron, that's pretty great. So we'll throw that in there and get a decent amount back too. So I'm certainly not hurting for iron right now. Only got 13 coal. There was some more back there that I saw on the walls when I was running. I'm also going to have to go get some netherrack at some point. So let's see, I'm at hurt stage, which is fine. So the biggest thing I want is more coal so I can make more torches. <coughs> and even the mine shaft wasn't that great, if I recall correctly. As far as just having resources around. Oh shoot, I should have dropped off all of that other stuff. <laughs> I got plump. Oh no. Not plump. So it was somewhere up here. Oh, and there's some in the wall up there, too. 
awesome. Just have at this stuff. Get me some sweet, sweet coal. So, right. Thinking about general tech progression from here. Um, I guess continued mining to get more diamonds for eventual full suit of diamond armor would be a good idea. Uh, there's also the consideration of attempting to obtain or get a village for trades. And I guess also relevant would be a mob tower, mob farm, whatever. All of which, let's see, the mob tower is going to take a lot of building materials of some sort. I could do it out of netherrack if necessary. because that would be quick and easy to obtain. I've seen a couple other people do it. Uh, Vioki definitely did it for the beginnings of his mob tower. Haven't seen him play lately though, so not sure where that went for them. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Is this walled off? I walled this off. Apparently. Not sure why. Oh, jeepers. Whew, that would have been bad. I would not have survived that encounter. In the slightest. Just bust our way in here, because why not? Oh. Oh, yeah, I came this way. A while ago. remember where it led. That's above lava, which makes it kind of useless. Is that some iron? Sure is. It's a lot less exciting to get that kind of iron anymore. More exciting are, you know, things like a fully clad skeleton in iron armor. Another thing I would really like to find would be a mob spawner. Not sure where the most likely places to find that would be, though. Mineshaft might have some. And that would be useful. Could be a sp uh, spider spawner, though. And those are a bit dangerous. Can't manually farm those very well. But it would be a way to get mossy cobble. Which would give me a way to make block dispensers. I think the recipe was changed so that you don't need the anvil for them anymore. This is great, finding lots of coal. It would it would allow me to get uh, stone with the little lava source that I have in my base. It would get an easier form of cobblestone rather than manual mining. And since it's the block dispenser just picking it up, unless Flower Child changed something, that also might give regular cobblestone instead of loose cobble. Which would be pretty neat. Let's plop that down for a second here while I'm mining up the coal. So there's all sorts of things I can try to go for. Most of them just requiring lots of time, say mining or what have you. Come here, little jerk. Yeah, gotcha. 
Okay, what's... Pillar down from there or something at some point, maybe? I don't remember, so... Let's grab this lapis, because it'll be useful eventually. Same with the redstone. And I really like, when I'm, when I'm doing this sort of mining, I like to get all the resources so I don't have to come back. Backtracking's kind of annoying for me. To me, whatever. Granted, there's so very many paths in this system right now that it's almost inevitable that I'll be backtracking in a way. Oh. It's a close one. I already have mushrooms, so I don't feel the need to gather these. I don't have a farm for them, but that doesn't matter too much. Okay, so I am about to run out of torches, so I'm going to skirt this lava here. See if there's... Okay. So, it's apparently coming from pretty high up. Uh, let me uh, eat some ham and eggies here for a second. Alright. Okay. Oh, wow. Ravine of some sort. Oh, cool. I should really probably head back. My inventory's full-ish and about to run out of torches. Oh, do I have a stack of coal? I do. That's excellent. Excellent. Uh, pumpkin seeds I don't need. I don't know why. I must have accidentally picked one up while I was in the base a little bit ago. I do have to say, the diamond pickaxe harvesting an entire block of loose cobble instead of anything else is very nice. Alright, let's head back here. Skirting the lava and not touching it. Because that would be deadly. Alright, back we go. Hmm, apparently missed a couple. Nope. Enderman must have teleported. Okay, so following these torches back, and then we start to get into the hodgepodge of torches everywhere and don't really know where I was. Uh, okay, it was up here. Ah, yeah, that was deadly. That's fun. Ooh. Run back this way. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. Right, this way was blocked off, and then. Here we are. Oh, here's some, some more coal. Okay, cool. So it wasn't that far away. Excellent. So that was a successful little mining adventure, I'd say. Nothing too particularly exciting, but at this point, what would be? I guess it'd be spawners and stuff would be exciting. But towards that end, I'd... I'd have to go in a different area. Alright, uh, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. So I will clean out my inventory and I will be back in a minute. Oops. <clears throat> so the next step in this make lots of torches endeavor is to go obtain lots of netherrack. So I'm going to go rock that out and really just mine around the entrance there. And I will be back when I have a couple loads of netherrack. See you then. I had a bit of a realization while I was just mining out this area down here is that what I actually should be doing is heading on up to the top here and tunneling in a direction or another. Because if I need the netherrack, I might as well make a productive use out of that time that I'm putting into it. Oh, however... I just realized I don't have any ladders. And I do need some more ladders to make it to the top here. Yeah, because I definitely have several blocks to go. Okay, never mind. 
Actually, you know what? I will. I'm going to go make some more ladders, and I will be uh, tunneling up the top there. And I'll just show you what sort of progress I make when I'm done. See you then. All right, made it to the top. Ended up only using, uh, I think it was about 16, maybe more ladders. <clears throat> made it to the very top, and this will leave me with just enough room anytime I want to make a portal to put two of the blocks here, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, and it shouldn't ever have problems with hitting the roof. So what I'm going to do here is basically, I think I'm going to mine until I'm either out of space or my diamond pickaxe runs out and I'm just gonna make it a for now I'll make it a 2x2 two two shaft going some direction that I haven't determined yet I want this up here to potentially become the new area that I place the portal so I want to have it a bit cleared out and the reason I want to have it up here is if I'm using the portal for any sort of traveling then you just come out of the portal and then head somewhere else instead of having to climb up a ladder. I'm not 100% sure on that one. In my last world, I just kept it at ground level and then I had an elevator going up to the floor that I had. Uh, well, I had a rail system once I found a, a village. Spent a lot of time looking there. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll make it a five by five room. So that might be what I do as well, especially because the lower level is near the nether fortress. And two, three, four, five. The nether fortress is obviously quite useful. And in the near future, as soon as I have some better armor and whatnot, I'll be having to do some blaze farming and secure some of that fortress and eventually try to make some sort of wither skeleton farming capabilities but that's that's in the far future and I did actually have a realization of technology wise of what I should be working on and that is probably a water wheel since a water wheel represents consistent power that I won't have to turn on and off for storms and represents being able to place power in places that are more ex easily accessible than the windmill will. So I think what I want to focus on instead of doing any sort of well, technology-wise, I want to focus on getting a water wheel. I do, however, also want to, at the very least, make some sort of better sorting system since my four chests that I have right now are very quickly filling up. And they're, they're a mess. They're really horribly organized. So I think what I might do for now is chop out a lot more of the area directly below that housing because it's safe and it's, ac it's accessible. And then at some other point, I can worry about making it all look pretty. So either way, I'm just going to continue mining here, and I will be back when I'm done. So in either a bit of stroke of fortune or misfortune, I came down here to discover a blaze was sitting right here. I tried to get the camera running fast enough, but I wasn't quick on the draw, and uh, just decided to save my life instead of worrying about filming it. But I have now obtained another blaze rod, which is decently useful. Uh, it definitely impresses to me the necessity of getting that flooring to be some non-nether material, but uh, it's fine. So this is how much netherrack I gathered up. Uh, my pickaxe ran out before anything else. So uh, I will see you back at the base. Okay, so for the final part of this particular episode, I have started up grinding some netherrack. I already have the coal ground up. What I'm going to do is just basically make a mess of torches so that whatever I want I can use them for mostly lighting stuff up uh, as that's pretty important right now. Uh, apologies for the brief amount of nausea. I really need to move a millstone for grinding netherrack out of audible range. That would make things a lot better in the long run. 
but that will require me to have another source of mechanical power or a lot of um, gearboxes, which I wouldn't have too much trouble making. I have a fair amount of gold. Uh, either way, so while that is all processing, I'm also going to get in on continuing to farm those cows. So, two thoughts I had regarding that. One, the space in, in which they are sitting is quite cramped and quite difficult to easily farm them. I have to sit there at a certain range with my sword and hope they don't kick me. <laughs> Otherwise, I get you know murdered by their powerful hooves. So what I was thinking is that I could make a pen for them and especially since I got that second blaze rod. In one of the corners, place a little kill trap where I flick on a hibachi, it roasts them, they die, I collect all the resources. And only do so with a certain number of... Um, a certain number of cows, that way I'm not killing them all off. To do that, I would need to dig out some sort of pit, have a little bit of, uh, say, a sticky piston gate... Or maybe just a gate. That would work too. Where is that other sticky piston? I know I was using the one. Eh, it must be over in that other chest that I don't want to mess with right now. So, between episodes here, I'm going to grind up a bunch of that netherrack and then make a bunch of torches. Next time, I think we're going to focus on making some sort of longer term ish housing for the cows. Uh, mostly it being uh, you know, a, a pit that a bunch of cows can live in and then I have a little corner for slaughtering. So, with that being said, I will catch you all next time when I have a bunch of torches. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.